What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, the last episode was a bit of a, I don't know, a laggy one or draggy one, or I don't even know what to call it, but yes, we did bet quite a few people and all that stuff, and now here we are in Sutopolis City. We're gonna do a small tour, and then we're gonna go straight to Team Aqua because, you know, they're up to no good and all that stuff. So here we are in Sutopolis City. As many of you guys already know, this is going to be the place. This is going to be the place of where all the magic happens. As you guys can see, this guy's like, when I was young, I traveled the world as a Pokemon trainer. How did I become an old buzzard? My only amusement is watching young trainers battle. And this is kind of weird because it's like, this is blocking uh, <laughs> an entrance right there. That's just kind of weird. But as you guys can see, Sutopolis City is not that big of a city. It just, uh, yeah, they just, uh, it's just, it's very lonely and all that stuff. As you guys can tell, hello, you're the first guest in a good while. You brighten up my day, so I'll give you this big Wilmer doll. Sure, let's go ahead and take this. And, well, if you guys don't know, this Wilmer doll will be transferred to our PC and will be going straight to our secret base once we get it. Now, getting a Wilmer, uh, Wilmer doll, yeah, that's a, that, it's a, it's a big, big thing. Now, here we have two guys right here. This guy right here is like, do you know the Pokemon Lotad? It's rarely seen in Sutopolis. I love, I mean, I love Big Lotad. My big brother says C Dot is bigger. But that's wrong. Everyone knows that Lotad is a lot bigger. Huh. Do you have a Lotad? Please show me. And uh, I kind of don't have it with me right here, but I will show it to you eventually. And obviously, this guy is doing the opposite way. Now, if you guys, if you guys show him, like, if the, the, the two Pokemon that they're looking for, I'm pretty sure they would give you some kind of, like, special item or something. I don't even know. Comment down below. And here we have... Listen up. I'll tell you something good. There's supposed to be an ancient ruin in the sea uh, around here. Uh, there could be treasures just waiting to be discovered down there. That is true, but it's probably... It's probably because, uh, you know, they're talking about the... The, the witch McCullet, uh Yeah, they're talking about... Uh, the, the ancient ra ruins that we were supposed to go to after this. Talk to this guy. He's going to be like, ancient treasures. It would be nice if they existed, but even if they didn't, it would be so beautiful to take an, uh, take an, an underwater stroll with my Pokemon. I'm pretty sure none of these people, like, uh, realize that, yes, there is, uh, the Pokemon move dive. Now, here we're going to the very top of this place, and if you talk to Granny right here, she's like, Mount Pyre. At its peak, our two orbs placed side by side. Did you know that? Yes. Yes, the two orbs uh, side by side. The sight of them together it is somehow soothing. This is this is very, very true. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it right there. Let's see. What if we go towards the other side right here? Now, I've always wanted to try this thing out. Uh, we haven't gotten to the... We haven't gotten to the events of, uh, what was it called, uh, Kyogre and Groudon and all that stuff. I want to check this out, and yes, the door is closed, so you can't battle the gym leader just yet. Kind of messed up. Kind of wanted to battle him, but uh, I don't know. Now, if you go right here, I think you'll find somebody, uh, somebody important. So, let's see. Something, oh yes, this person right here. Hi, what's your name? Okay, that's nice. My name is Kiri. My mommy and daddy uh, named me, uh, named me that so I could grow healthy and warm-hearted. Uh, that's what they they wish. You can have one of these. And here we get ourselves a Rabuda berry, which, of course, it's, uh, I guess it's a rare berry. And I think she gives us a. Well, yeah, she does give us two, but she also, yeah, she also. I think she also gives us a a berry every single day. I could be wrong. I don't even know. Okay. So let's go right ahead and take care of uh, the other business right here. If you go into this house, let's see, talk to this person. Uh, the cave that links to Topless and the outside world, it seems as if uh, the cave was made to keep something from getting out. Or am I just imagining things? You're probably imagining things and you're getting in my way. Like, I really do hate when these things just automatically get in your way. And then a water volcano erupted and forced itself up to the depths. The crater emerged from the sea and became filled with rainwater. That's how Sutopolis, uh, that's, that's how Sutopolis City came into being. Which is cool. Alrighty, so that's that explains a lot right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and not go there. Let's go straight over here. And if you talk to these people, I think you're going to get a good item right here. So let's see. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Sutopolis is one that has many fans, even more than his student Wallace. Do you have any? Yes, I do. Oh, then you must be pretty strong. I am very, very strong. 
Dedicated, uh, dedicated fans come over from uh, even outside Hoenn. It was really wild when I uh, went to see the Trainer Fan Club in Lily Cove, which is pretty hilarious because it's like, you know, in Pokemon Emerald, it's only, like, it's only put to one place. Now, if you go right here, talk to this person, and there appears to be some connection between Mount, or Suitopolis and Mount Pyre. My friends and I did some research on it uh, at a lab where I used to work. Huh. Where was this lab? My big brother used to study at sea, or the sea. Oh, well, I think, uh, I don't even know where that, where that sea place is at. So if you go right here, I think you're going to be talking to this person. Let's see. Yes, he's going to be having a kick wheel. And he's like, for 30 years, I've remained in Sutopolis, honing my skills. I developed a, a shattering TM. I bequeath it to you. TM31. This bequeathment, because it kind of sounds weird, is Brick Break. It is a move so horrible that it can, I can't describe it. Now, if you guys don't know... Brick Break can also break Reflect, and uh, what was it called? Reflect and Light Screen. And if you guys can tell, yes, this is where the ruins are at now. As you guys can see, we can't go through it because we've talked to this guy. He's like, who might you be? This is the Cave of Origin. The spirit of the Pokemon becalmed at Mount Pyre are said to be revived here. Please leave. Okay. So, that right there is a uh, tour of Sutopolis. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going straight towards the area where you'll all be able to find the cavern to where all this event starts. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are outside of, I uh, believe, one, Route 127, Route 128. We were here in the last episode just to check up on a few things, you know, battle a few trainers, being lazy and all that stuff. So we're gonna go up underground or underwater, and as you guys can see, yes, this is just a crater right here. Don't know why they would tease you like that. What you need to do is, you need to go right here at Route 128. When you see that rock, that is exactly where you need to be pointed as, or pointed at, and, well, there we go. And there is the entrance. As you guys can see, we have found a Submarine Explorer 1. It is painted in a hole. This is the Submarine Team Aqua stolen slave port. Team Aqua must have gone ashore here. Okay. So it is time, guys, to do all this fun stuff. Yes, battle people. Get our, uh, re reclaim our honor, even though our honor is still intact. You know, all this stuff right here. And as many of you guys already know, yes, I am going to be... I am going to... What was it called? Uh... I'm going to be speeding through this because, yes, we, we, we need to get to uh, the important parts right here. So, as you guys can tell, you do need a Pokemon that needs, uh, or that has Rock, uh, what was it called, uh, Rock uh, Smash, and what was it, uh, yes, you need somebody with strength. So, let's see, this is a, this is kind of a, well, this kind of sucks right here, so let's see what happens, uh, who needs Rock, 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 okay, okay, so let's see. Who can I teach Rock uh, or Rock Smash? Why, why do we keep on saying Rock? So let's go to the Vesuvius right here. And, well, if it has a move we can replace, then... You know what? Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of a risk right there because if... Let's just say... Mm, yes, okay. So if I if, if Vesuvius grows another level, I have a bad feeling that it's going to learn, like, Flamethrower. And I'm just going to be like, wow, damn. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Joss already knows a buttload of, uh, TM, so, let's see. Let's go to Dulcim. You know what, we're gonna give it to Dulcim right here, because it does, we do have the Call Mine technique as a, you know, as a TM. And, uh, yeah, we can always teach it to Dulcim for just a little bit right here, so. Here we go. Rock Smash to Dulcim, that will be... That will be deleted afterwards. So let's go ahead and start breaking some stuff. And, well, here we go. There we go. Pushing that. And let's go right ahead and start destroying everybody right here. Including the Pokemon, because yes. Yes, the Pokemon want to beat us. Uh, let's see. What we need to do first is get a Repel, because, yes, we do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. Now, remember, you do need a Pokemon with Strength and Rock Smash. Don't forget about the Pokemon with Dive and Surf, because, yes, you will be going through, yeah, places. Like, you'll be going through a lot of places right here. So, here we are taking on the Team Rocket, or Team Aqua Grunt. And we're going to speed through this. Let's go ahead and use Rock Smash. Yes, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at that. Okay. Well... We were taking on some weak Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and just continue on the onslaught right here. 
Here we have that submarine. It's tiny. I'm sore all over. Yes, he is sore all over. So let's go right ahead and high jump kick this Pokemon. And look at that. Yes, we win again. Alrighty, so we always go right here just for this situation. And look at this. Okay, so there is a boulder right there. Wherever there's a boulder, there's always a way to mess up. So let's go right ahead and push this button right here. And go right here. And look at this. Bam, we break this one right here. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and see where this leads us. Right behind this dude. And wow, that could have been a double battle right there. So we're going to use a confusion. And just like that, we win. And yes, this would have been a double battle. And going straight for the high jump kick does the win. And bam. There we go. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and see what this uh, hole brings in, and here we are. What I, 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 I kind of want to say it's a shortcut. It probably is a shortcut, so let's go right ahead and press this one right here. And there we go. We're speeding through the hole, like, you know, going through stuff, and oh, wow. So it would seem that we went in reverse. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Where do we go from here? Okay, so we go into this crater. And this one will take us towards this one right here. Okay. So let's go right ahead. Push this. And there we go. And I think we need to get towards the right side. Okay. So let's break that out. And hmm. Yeah, this is going to be... Okay. So what if we go right here? Look at this. See, Draven is smart. It's just it takes a while just to just to have everything like you know moving. So let's go right ahead and press this, and here we are towards the sea floor, the sea floor and cavern uh, tide area. And this one will take you towards the yeah. This one this one will take you towards uh where you need to be. So let's see. Again, I'm winging this this whole thing, and obviously it's taking me back. So let's go right ahead and do this all over again. And right here, right here, right here. Okay, so right here. And okay, let's see if this one takes us. Oh, crap, baskets. Oh, no, it did. Okay, so there we go. We are in the final, the final part of this whole area right here. And as you guys can see, another puzzle. That's always nice right there. And uh, well, let's see. We have repel. So let's see what we got. Hmm. Oh yeah, double battle. Let's go right ahead. <laughs> How did you manage to get here without a submarine? What an impressive child. But I won't do. Uh, it won't do to have you meddling around here, about here. And I do want the payback for what you what happened at the Weather Institute. I'm going to give you a little taste of pain. Resign yourself to it. Oh wow. Oh wow. Huh. For our dream to become real, we need the power of a Pokemon. But meddlers like you used to use the power of Pokemon to mess with us, even at the place like, at a place like this. Life just doesn't doesn't or life just doesn't work the way we want we need it to. Holy crud! Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle these people right here. And well, here we are taking on Team Admin Shelly and well, the Grunt. So let's go right ahead and. Let's go ahead and speed through this right here. Going with that. Shockwave and... There. Oh, wow. Okay, so we gain points. And just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon. And what's going to happen now is... Actually, you know what? I jump kick. And Thunderbolt onto Goldbat. Because, yes, we are smart. And bam. Look at that. Okay, so we have defeated our nemesis right here. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, that was pain right there real pain so let's see here we are in another area where of course there's gonna be another puzzle gotta love the puzzles guys so let's go ahead and press this and well let's see I think this is how you do it hmm there we go press press push push press and the way we go look at that okay so here we are towards the very end of the seafloor and cavern and you're gonna be finding yourself another item and this one is tm26 earthquake a very powerful move that which we already have learned and all that and it's foggy it sucks and well look at this we are going towards uh yeah we are going towards uh 
a sticky situation. So before we, we even, you know, start out with whatever is going to happen, let's go straight to Vesuvius just because, you know, we kind of want to troll these guys. And there you go. There is Kyogre, and we're looking straight at it, and Archie's like, hold it right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Foo, 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 foo. So it was you after all. Behold. See how beautiful it is? The sleeping form of an ancient Pokemon, Kyogre. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprised me how you managed to chase me here, but that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. I love this song, I really do. Honestly, the greatest uh, bad guy theme song ever. That's right, and especially in, in the newer versions, it, it, yeah, you, you kind of feel like you're in the battle. So here we are taking on Archie. And, well, he, he does come out with a level 41 My Diana, so let's go right ahead and use an Earthquake attack. And really, really, you're going to spit some uh, swagger at me? Man, okay, so here we go. That's Vesuvius with the attack, and come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, come on. And there you go, Earthquake attack for the win. That's how you do it. And, yes, My Diana. You're not feeling it good, huh? And, well, let's see, Sage. Well, here comes a Crobat, so we're going to continue right here with Vesuvius, and... Alright, we're going to take that risk. Let's go with the Rock Slide. Alright, let's go. And, just like that, Rock Slide for the win, thanks to your... Com oh, wow, it survived. Okay, alrighty, and knowing this guy, he's probably going to... Yes, he's going to heal his Pokemon right here. Probably does have a good feeling that yes, our luck has run out. So let's go, Vesuvius. And crap baskets. Okay. So yes. We are in a bit of a pickle right here. So let's go right ahead and use a full heal. Vesuvius, come on. And yes, Archie is doing the same thing, healing up his Pokemon. Alright, no escape. And oh crap. Wing attack. Nearly defeats my Vesuvius, and we miss. Good gravy. Okay. That's right. Oh wow, we had a we had a full restore this whole entire time. Wow. Okay, so let's go with a hyper potion right here. I am not going to let Vesuvius faint. He needs to get to level 41. And this Crobat's getting in my tits about this. Uh, so here we go. Confused, right? Good gravy. Okay. God dang it. There we go. Eat it. Okay, so look at that. Vesuvius has won. And well, here comes a Sharpedo. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Sage of the Halo right here. Trying to finish up what we got. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So Sage, time to do it. Look at this guy. Wow. Holy crud. Okay, level 43 Sharpedo. Time to eat this leaf leaf blade. And just like that. Yes, we defeat Sharpedo with just a little bit of damage towards us. Just 9 HP. It's alright. It's a good uh it's 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 a good price. And just like that, we defeat Team Aqua leader Archie. He's like, what? I lost to a mere child like you? Mm-hmm. Again, I think. Or actually, this is the first time we beat him. Huh. Foo, foo, foo. I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. Uh-oh. The red orb suddenly began shining by itself. And whoa. Holy buckets. So this wakes up our good old buddy Kyogre. It is not happy, and it totally disappears. And Archie's like, "What? I didn't do anything. Why did the red orb? Where did Kyogre go?" Hmm. It's a message from the outside. Yes. What is it? Hmm. It's raining heavily. Good. That should have happened. That is why we awaken Kyogre to realize Simako's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned? You're in danger. That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the, situ the situation. There's something wrong. The red orb is supposed to awaken the control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? And well, there's Maxi and look at these guys. The two losers are gonna be like, what have you brought? You finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to the world if this downpour continues uh, for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in its deepening sea. But what? Don't get all high and mighty with me. That wasn't it. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated Groudon? 
So long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have time to argue about the about it here. Get outside and see it for yourself. See if you wrought or see what you wrought is the world that we desired. Draven, come on, you have to get out of here too. Oh wow, he's actually nice to me for once. And oh my god, it is currently raining. Especially like here in California. The downpours are killing us. And well, Archie's like, what happened? What is wretched or what is this wretched scene? Oh wow, it is a drought and it is a rain. Did I make a horrible mistake? I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you uh, do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Draven, don't say anything. I know what I... I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie. But the way things are now, I doubt that we, we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither we, uh, can we stay or uh, stand by and watch uh, helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to uh, the to this falls uh, to Archie and me. Hmm. This defies belief. Those super ancient Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. Yeah, you kind of uh, upset the balance of nature. So we're having a drought and a downpour. And whoa, Steven Stone is here. He's like, Driven, what is happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat, uh, or after the scorching e heat wave ended, this deluge began. And if if this does if this doesn't stop, all of Hoenn, no, the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading above uh, from above Sutoplex. When the world is taking place there, there's no point in arguing here. Sutoplex might provide the answers. Draven, I don't know how uh, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless, okay? I'm going to Sutoplex. That's probably where we need to go. So, yes, we have some weather stuff on our hands. And, uh, yeah. I encourage you guys to come into the next episode. That was my water bottle falling. And, oh, wow. I encourage you guys to come into the next episode and see what happens. Because it's going to get very, very interesting. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.